Those drones just shredded me before. I guess they've got some pretty heavy armor. Thank you. Good pop. Uh, all right, let's do that. Let's see if I can get those drones first. Go this side, and we'll stay away from the base. Man, that drone did not want to go down easy, did it? Here we go. Flats are in minefield. I would like to state it as an embarrass embarrassment of yours as a vent. Go right ahead. Usual, I don't have the thing to lock on to the right guy. Ding. Hmm. Armor drone. Turning on my ultimate too. She has so many buttons to press. You suggested an indie game with a lot of reading to a streamer who didn't know was dyslexic. Oh. Well, there's no way. There's no way for you to know. No way for you to know that. And I mean, yeah. Did they get? Were they? Uh, did they get mad at you or something? You think you were you were making uh one of them somehow? Get a missile. Behind my nice, nice, safe, big asteroid. He wasn't mad. He was a nice guy. Well, yeah. I mean, there's no way for you to know. So I, I would say, you know, no harm done. That situation. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't dwell on it. Madcaps that they drop that second pod and spew mines everywhere. 
That's nasty. Oh, is that... Are those energy orbs? They are. Okay, so that must be the perk activating. Man, I gotta get right up close to those, don't I? Interesting. Alright, where are the last of my outlaws? dwell on your other mistake that was not mine as you didn't make the mistake but you were accused of making a mistake all right what is pinging me you are pinging me What does this ping noise mean? It's like I'm getting a random signal. Coming from inside here. Yeah, it's it's easy to sort of get caught up in your own. Go back and think on on past on past mistakes, but I know I I can do that too sometimes. Replay incidents in your head, but after a point, you just gotta you know it's in the past. What's done is done. You know if it's a, if it's a learning moment, learn from your uh, learn from the mistake. If you, if you didn't make a mistake and it just you know it's just yeah those things. Comes to the point you're just kind of you're you're using you're using energy that could be used for other other things on that kind of kind of thing. Alright, do I need to get in this thing? What do I need to get into it? Yeah. This is cloaked? Cloaked container. Learn from a mistake you did not make. Well, Maybe not learn from the mistake itself, but learn from the situation, you know. We got homing missile launcher and a signal decoder. Huh. Pretty much anything can be can be looked at from a learning opportunity. And if it was a mistake you didn't make then was it really a mistake at all? Let's grab metal, let's grab that. All right, how is my cargo doing two slots? I think I can safely dismantle this. Throw on some nanobots. I feel like I need to buy some more nanobots next time we're somewhere. Alright, one more location in this sector, and then maybe go back to where we can sell. You guys, thank you for the follows. Uh, Avers Ampersand and the Fire Guy, appreciate that very much. Sorry if I missed you guys earlier. Did 
destroy the rigged asteroid. Oh, because I'm so good at flying around rigged asteroids. All right, where is this thing? Well, lots of stuff here. I need to place the charges myself here. Look at this busted old station. A wreck. Randomly found this channel, uh, and you're talking about a topic that I was dealing with in the past couple months, dealing with past mistakes. You're very welcome. I, I know. Glad my words could help. I don't claim to be an expert or anything, but I just figure that's how I kind of try to look at things is, yeah, making mistakes sucks. And I, I do myself personally tend to dwell a little bit when I make a mistake, probably too much overanalyze things, but you know, I figure get to the point where you, you know, learn what you can from the incident or the, whatever it was. And then, uh, then move on. Cause it just becomes kind of a weight or a drain on you after a while. And it's just not good. Not good for you. Nano injector, release it. Credits. You know what? I'm going to use my nano injector here. Actually, I'm going to. I guess I have to use it outside the ship, and I'm going to stack this one on there because I only stacked it three. Ooh, so heavy shields. I think we'll dismantle that. Let's see, explosive charge. Do I know death and taxes? Um... Both the saying in the game. I know the saying. Is there a game on death and taxes? Wasn't there a, a WoW guild a while back called Death and Taxes? Are they still around? <laughs> but I didn't. I did not. Did not know if there's a, uh, a game called Death and Taxes. Game looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. I kind of sort of flushed everything out from the uh, River Space One. Look it up soon, it's an indie game. Go, let's check it out. Okay, so. I need to find the asteroid to rig this thing on, I bet I do. So if not, I gotta place the stuff. Where'd it be? I assume I need to find a thing. There's, there's so many rocks here. Which one do I use? Yeah, it was, it was they were like a we an early WoW guild, I feel like. What's in here? Oh, the big red button. So, what happens when I press this big red button? Oh, it releases the charge. Okay. They were the first to defeat the four horsemen. Okay. This asteroid might be the rigged asteroid.
The words of Frostpunk, every day was a struggle. Yeah, every day was a struggle in that game, wasn't there? You know, it's funny, I... <laughs> I think I played through all the scenarios except the, uh... The brand new one, the autumn one. And I got frustrated with the workers because they just complained constantly about everything. I was doing everything I could to try to make, you know, life easy for them. And they just, they complained constantly. And because they didn't know what was coming. Like none of the, the workers in like the, after the snow came, like they knew if they didn't work, everybody would die. And so there's a lot less complaining. I just, yeah, I never finished the last mission. I just couldn't seem to get ahead of their, the demands of the workers in that auto mission. I don't know. All right, what do I do with these explosives? Where is the asteroid that I must explode? There are rocks everywhere. Maybe it's nearby the station out front somewhere. Another charge in there. There's so many charges, holy crap. I really hope I don't have to place all of these. That's one, two, three, that's six charges. All right, where is the asteroid? There is the asteroid, okay. I could carry more of these at once. Saga. So, lots of things to do here. Looks like if I, if I can power this laser up, it'll blast that hardened ore. So I can't use my weapons to do it. Do you? Let's go back to the station, get the rest of those explosive things. Sometimes you can't get out of your head, you can't get a grip on your mentality when you have a nervous breakdown. But high pain tolerance when doing so, leisure being turned into pain plus online class and you have a failure to adapt to online class. Yeah, on the online class situation is tough. I know, I know a lot of people just aren't. It's not a good situation. Uh, the ground zero, how am I finding the controls? You know, I like the controls. They're definitely not like, not flight simmy, like, uh, I don't know, what was that? The new, uh, Star Wars game just came out? We'll be back. Okay. But, uh, yeah, they're more arcadey, but I like them a lot.
it makes sort of dodging, dodging stuff, moving in and out of things, easier. And they work really well with mouse and keyboard, so which is a plus for me. I think we need one more explosive. There's so many doodads here to collect. Yeah, I've not tried a controller, but I know the first game was really good at mouse and keyboard, and they've sort of continued that trend. It's a socket. Power core, explosive core, All right, explosive charge. That is way in there. How am I supposed to get that? There's no way my ship will fit in there. Will it? Alright. How many more do I need on this asteroid? Just one more? One more socket? All right, those are the two power, the three power cores I need for the laser. I'm doing this, what I'm doing now in the system is kind of a challenge, location challenge. So each location, undiscovered location you jump to, it's not like on the main story, it has some sort of challenge thing to do. In this case, it's tracking down explosive charges. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I need to laser through the back end or something this old mining laser. All right, let me uh, let me grab the cores. Give the mining laser. Sometimes it's a kind of a puzzle situation like this. Sometimes you have to find something. Other times it's clearing out outlaw nest. You have to go to your acquaintance. You'll make some sustenance. All right, man. We'll enjoy your food and. Uh, have fun with your friend. It's good to talk to you. And I'm sure everything will... Everything will work out in the end. Forgot a comma. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, my acquaintance. Okay. I got you now. Well, enjoy your food then. I guess in that case, the comma was important. <laughs> All right, we got our charge. Worked out in the end. Do, 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 do. All right, where's our rock? This is our rock. This is our rock. All right, so man, this thing is big. Don't see any more things to pick up. So we should be good. I think. Now, question is, can... I already lost my rock again. There we go. Can we do this in the time allotted? This is very low tech. For a guy flying around in a spaceship, having to go press these buttons manually. Oh, we got nine seconds. That's not too bad. Cool, there we go. I wonder if you take damage here. 
getting loads of this Gligon stuff. I assume is a crafting material. We got another turning of bypass. We got three of those now. So we can create another augmentation module. And yeah, so augmentation module, which we can use to basically boost up a stat. I'm putting into crit, but maybe resistance. You can take them out too, which is nice. So if you want to kind of rearrange your setup, you can. It's cool. All right, sweet. So we uh, got everything explored there. Let's go. Let's go back to my base. Unload all our supplies, rearm, and uh, I think we'll keep on exploring. I have a feeling the next mission we do, story-wise, is going to take us to a new area. I kind of want to get everything uncovered before we go. See our credit situation too. I want to buy a new ship or not? And I like this ship. Team just going all around solid ship. Super cruise right into your front. No, okay. But when it will deactivate? All right, let's repair our hull, restock weapons, Echo Speed Booster. So we get nine to structure there. We lose out on pretty much everything else. Energy can, consumption is a bit better. No, it's only at level four. Eh. I think you get dismantled. All right, attorney of bypass. We'll store that. I think that gives us a three stack. Yeah, let's make an augment. Uh, what else? Store that. That. All our four. Power units, membranes, energy chargers, crystals, there we go. Do I need more than four damage boosters? I don't think so. Well, I can't scrap the consumables, interesting. I don't know. I'm gonna love, love to find a new railgun. All right, what can I craft here? I wonder if improvising will unlock new blueprints. So if I improvise something, I will learn how to make a new blueprint. Let's find out. Let's go. We don't have enough for a rare item. Let's try to make a, it's going to be a pulse. Let's try to make, see what happens. Let's improvise a primary weapon. A little bit of railgun. It's a railgun! Game game gods were listening. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Alright. Um 
me change slots here. 